Hi YouTube, this is Jerry again. Um, today, I'm going to teach you how to make an extremely good working deer call. You don't need much. This is a cup of noodles cup. That's what I like to use. I have a piece of aluminum foil. I have a few toothpicks, a handful of straws, some black tape, and a glue gun. My glue gun. And that's all you need, okay? So with, with this, it works really good. So the first thing you're going to do is you got to cut a hole in the bottom of the of this and you can actually use the glue gun if they're hot enough you have a good glue gun it'll actually melt a hole in the middle like that this one works really good because this is a really hot glue gun and that's it so you got a hole in the middle now very simple then you take your straws and these are the bendy straws so you can bend them because you're going to see why we need that here in a few minutes Okay, so you stick the bendy end down, and you're going to cut them off about, I don't know, two inches above the, uh, the bendy part. Okay, we're going to cut those off. Oh, almost lost them. Okay, there we go. So now what we have is we have a bunch of cut straws and short pieces. So now what you're going to do, that was funny is you're going to take the bendy straws, like these, and you're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of it, just a little, and you're going to stick it, I'll show you here in just a second, um, around the hole in the bottom, just like that. Okay, if you can see, it's glued to the bottom all the way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick a few of them in there like that. And you don't have to do them perfect, it doesn't really matter, the deer don't care, they don't know the difference. They're just deer after all. And um, you know, try and get it so that the straw is actually a little bit over the hole. So it's going into the hole, see? You can actually stick them all the way through the hole. I think that'll probably work better in this particular instant. Just stick them all the way in the hole like that for the first couple. And then we just keep going to go. Just going to keep going around till we get them all done. And you can watch, I'm just going to do them all like that and like that. I'm a, a little anal when it comes to doing stuff like this. I always like stuff to be kind of even, you know. It's weird. I don't know, maybe you're all like that. Anyway, just keep going around in a circle like that. And then put a little glue on the top and make it a little stronger like this. This is a really hot glue gun, so I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure where it even came from, but it's a hot one. Anyway, just keep going around and you can stack them on the inside. I'll show you here in just a second. Try to get a few more in. The idea is we want to be able to get air to come through them a little bit. Let's see, this one here. And we got a couple more to go. This one here. This one here. I'm going to do a little adjusting here. This one needs to be moved over to this end like that. And we're going to get this one going. And it's going to go in like that. And it's not an exact science. You know, you just kind of put them in the best you can. Don't worry about it. Like that. Let's see. Make sure they're all kind of glued because you don't want it to come apart. Okay. So it looks like this in the middle. Okay. And it's very simple to do. Now let the glue dry for a minute. Like that. It's going. Uh, pretty much getting there. And then as soon as this dries, we're going to add some more straws here. We're going to do these a little bit different. We want the sound to work really good on this. So this is going to create some of the sound, as you're going to see. So while you're waiting for it all to dry, what you can do is you can take your scissors and you can cut little pieces like this in the ends. You don't have to make them very big, quarter inch, half inch. Don't have to be in the exact same place. Just uh, you want to put some holes in them. I mean, some lines like that. You'll see what this is for here in a second. It kind of creates like a reed. Or a will when I'm done. This one do or no? Okay, so now we've cut them all. They're all glued in. Let's check them all, make sure they're kind of good. Solid, 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 solid. That one's a little weak. Okay, let's put a little more glue on that one. Glue on this one? Which one was it? That one, okay. 
little more glue on that one. Okay, let it harden a little more. And uh, you'll see what's next. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the toothpicks. And this is what's gonna create the reed effect. So you're gonna put a little bit of glue on this and you're gonna stick it in down inside. So what you end up with is the, you can leave the point sticking out, I don't care. It doesn't really make any difference to the, to the, to the uh, straws. But this is what creates the, the reed effect. And uh, so, you know, it sounds like a, you know, like a trumpet reed, if you know what that means. And we'll just jam it down in there. Kind of, I like to make them, like I said, I'm kind of anal, so I try and make them all kind of nice and even. And you don't have to do all, the, all of them all the way around. Actually, we don't want to do them all the way around. We want some of them not done. So I kind of like try and do maybe half or so, and, you know, and because uh, that seems to work the best. And if you're worried about getting pointy, you know, having the pointy end out, you can actually you can cut the points off if you want. Me, I think it kind of looks kind of cool. So that's what we have so far. Okay, you can see it's nothing special. It's kind of weird. Anyway, <clears throat> it works pretty good. You can bend these out if you want. Kind of give you a little more a uh, little more dance look. You know, here we go. There, give it the like that. How's that? Okay. So you got that all done now. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do. You're going to take your aluminum foil. The aluminum foil you're going to cut in strips. Okay, so just like this. And you're going to see how this works. You're going to be amazed. This thing works. I have, I have done, got so many deer from this stupid little idea. I actually saw this on a YouTube video maybe five years ago. And I can't find the video anymore. So I thought, well, you know, since I've been using it and I know how to make it, I thought, well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it and let other people see it. And maybe you guys will enjoy it. Who knows? So this is really easy. You just stick it over the top of the over the top of the the toothpick like that, and you can just shove it down inside. It doesn't have to be this again. This is not a exact science. So all we're doing is just sticking it on and jamming it. This is your reed right here that you're making now. The rest of the reed, and uh, shove it all the way around in your half like that. We're not putting any glue on this yet, so don't. Uh, the glue is going to go on the top of the toothpick. Oh, I just tore that one. Oh, that's okay. We'll just turn it over. It'll still work. There we go. And I got one more right here. And then that does them all, I think. Oh, there we go. That was a dull toothpick. All right. So just shove them down in the hole. Bend these onto it. Okay, like this. <laughs> I feel like I had to put an aluminum hat on my head. Um, Okay, so then glue all these on like this. And this is the actual noisemakers right here. These are the reeds that you're gonna get. And make sure you get enough glue on it to hold them because it's just aluminum foil, so, you know, it'll fly off. And I always like put a little down in here just to hold the bigger end in, you know, so it doesn't flap around too much. And uh, a little more on that one, and I get them all. Let's see. Got that one, don't think I got this one. Okay, so you see what you got now, right? Shove that down in there. I'm gonna wait for just a second now. And this is the final component, you need a bag. Okay, you get a bag like this. And you'll see what the bag is for here in a little while. We're not gonna use that quite yet. And uh, so we're just gonna wait here for a minute. We have all these pieces of straws now. So these straws, what you're gonna do is, um, Boy, this, this one turned out really good. I really like it. I like it because I never use colored straws. I always just use regular straws, but uh, that's okay. So these, we're gonna do kind of the same thing. We're just gonna make a bundle of straws like this. And these are the parts that don't bend. And all we're gonna do with this is we're gonna just kind of glue them all together in the bottom, put a little glue on them all, stick them all together. And this glue gun makes some hot ass glue, God. I got some on my finger just now and it was not a happy minute. I missed up. This is the hottest glue gun I've ever owned in my life. I don't know. It's like a, I don't know how many watts is this thing? Uh, it doesn't say. Oh well, wait, maybe it's 60 watts. No wonder it's so damn hot. Wow, most glue guns are only 30 watts. So, let it dry a minute. And you know where this one goes, right? Right in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some glue on the bottom like this. It's melting the straws. And we're just gonna shove it right down in the center like that. 
and you can see it kind of looks like a little horn kind of and that's the look that we're looking for right there and we're just going to let it dry a little this glue gun is so hot it's literally dripping the glue off let's get a little more ow shit got it on my finger there we go there we go Okay, we're good. And remember what I said, it's not an exact science. It doesn't really matter if it's perfect. It'll still work just great. We're almost done here, guys. So we've got the reeds all made. We got the extra ones out. So that's, so these are like, these are, uh, the, the straws on the end, the bend ones, they're like the low range ones, the middle and the middle, obviously the middle range. And the ones on the, on the ends, on the aluminum, those are like the high range straws. And just a little more glue down inside there. I'll maybe have to get another glue stick. Oh my God, this thing is so hot. It just melts the glue sticks. You can see it just drips in. I'm just gonna do this so it just holds it all together a little better. We don't want it falling apart, you know. It's gotta be kind of tough. You guys are gonna carry this in your, yeah, it doesn't work too good in a backpack. I guess you can kind of tell. But you can put a handle on it like I do. I just hang it off my belt. Works really good. I mean, literally, I can stand on my deck and uh, I can call deer from my deck. If you can believe that. It, it works that well that literally you can just get on your deck and wait for them to come. And I'm going to show you that here in just one second. As soon as it all dries. How are we doing? Oh, it's almost done. Let's see. Almost. Let's give it another minute. And you can see the hole in the bottom. That's where the sound is. That's where you, you're going to blow in through there, I guess. And uh, this will work. It looks like, like I said, I feel like I should put an aluminum hat on, you know, when you make this. You know, we can, waiting for the aliens or something. But, yeah, it works good. That's all I care about. So, we're just about to give it a try. I'm waiting to unplug this. I want to unplug the damn glue gun. I'm afraid it's going to melt. <laughs> if I drop it on my leg, I'm going to hate myself. So... Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try here. We're gonna see what happens. And you can uh, you can watch this. We're gonna go out. I'm just gonna stand out here um, by the castle and blow it because it, it works really good. Okay, you ready? Here goes. Here goes. Here, dear! Here, dear! Let's see if it works. Oh, look! <laughs> I, t I told you it works. Every time, all you have to do is make it and use the call, and I guarantee you, you will get deer every time. Of course, sometimes the deer aren't very happy, especially if you start shooting at them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.